Hi and welcome to NetApp KBTV. This video demonstrates the procedure to be followed to set the purge interval for events generated in On Command Unified Manager or DFN. This video is based on the KBID 1011883. There may be instances when the On Command Unified Manager or DFM database is too large in size, say in MBs or GBs, and the history of events are growing too fast then there is a need to delete the history of events that's when the events purge interval comes into picture modifying the parameters of the events purge interval would address these the on command unified managers events purge interval will determine the cutoff date at which old events are removed from the database there are different parameters that can be set for this interval and we shall see them At the command prompt on the on command server, let's type the command dfm options list. This would list all the options and their values. So if you look for the uh, events purge interval option, you can see that it is set to 10 weeks currently. We can change the value by entering the command dfm options set events purge interval equals to 9 weeks so you can see that the events purge interval has changed to 9 weeks if you list the options again and scroll up to the event purge interval you can see that it has changed to 9 weeks to be noted is that some events which determine the status of objects that on command unified manager is managing will not be deleted once we set the interval however this is a small percentage of the total number of events generated the event purge process runs daily at midnight so a reduction in the total number of events will not be immediately observed when the interval is set. Now there are multiple values that you can set to this events purge interval. DFM options set events purge interval. If you enter 9000, that's equivalent to 2.5 hours. You can set it to 120 hours, which is f equal to 5 days. You can also set it to 192 hours, which would be equivalent to 8 days or 1.14 weeks. If you set the interval to 672 hours that will be equivalent to 4 weeks if we set it to 420 hours it's equivalent to 2.5 weeks so you have multiple options that you can set it to if you want to set it to 2 years we enter 728 days so it's set to 104 weeks which is 2 years so we'll just change it back to 10 weeks so that we don't have a huge database also to be noted is that to disable the event purging the value that has to be entered is off or zero so let's say we enter zero and entering that command would change that purge interval to off as you can see the events purging has been disabled by this command so we can set it to 10 weeks as earlier we hope you find this video helpful please subscribe to NetApp KB TV for more knowledge based videos thanks for watching